to Dr. Ranima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lab videos. And in today's video, we will learn the viva verse equations on the estimation of COD in the given wastewater sample. If you are performing this experiment, the first question which could be put to you is expand COD. And your answer will be COD stands for chemical oxygen demand. Next question will be define COD and the answer will be COD is defined as the amount of oxygen required in milligrams to completely oxidize the organic and inorganic waste matter present in one liter of given wastewater sample using some strong oxidizing agent such as acidified potassium dichromate. Third question will be, what are the reagents which are required to perform this experiment? And the answer will be, the reagents required to perform this experiment are a standard ferrous ammonium sulfate solution, a standard solution of potassium dichromate, a 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid solution containing silver sulfate and mercuric sulfate and ferroin as the indicator. Can you explain the procedure briefly? Yes, the procedure to perform this experiment is explained by first preparing a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate. To prepare a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate, the salt is weighed in a weighing bottle. It is then transferred into a 250 ml volumetric flask to which little distilled water is added along with the addition of two test tubes of dilute sulfuric acid to prevent the hydrolysis of ferrous ammonium sulfate. Then the salt will be dissolved in more distilled water. Once the salt is completely dissolved, it is diluted up to the mark in the flask and then it is mixed thoroughly to make the solution homogeneous and it is filled in the burit after that. Once the solution is prepared and filled in the burit, I will pip it out 25 ml wastewater sample to which I will add 10 ml of standard potassium dichromate solution followed by the addition of 10 ml 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid and a few drops of ferroin indicator. When the indicator is added, the color of the sample water turns to bluish green. It is then titrated against the standard ferrous ammonium sulfate solution till the end point is reached. The end point is indicated by the change of bluish green color to reddish brown. Once I have attained the end point, I will go for second trial to get a concordant value. Once I have attained the concordant value, I will run down a blank titration also. What is a blank titration? A blank titration is one in which the sample water is replaced by the distilled water. Remaining things will be added as I have done for the sample titration. Whose values will be higher? Sample titration value or the blank titration value? The blank titration value will be higher compared to sample titration value. Why the blank titration value will be higher? The blank titration value is higher because the distilled water does not contain any impurities and therefore the potassium dichromate solution which is added to oxidize the impurities is not consumed resulting into a higher volume of ferrous ammonium sulfate required to reduce the dichromate into chromate ions. Therefore, the blank titer value will be higher compared to the sample titer value. What type of titration is this? This is a redox titration. Why you added? 
in the sulfuric acid silver sulfate and mercuric sulfate the silver sulfate is added because it acts as a catalyst and it catalyzes the oxidation of aliphatic hydrocarbons and acetic acid present in the waste water what is the role of mercuric sulfate mercuric sulfate prevents the precipitation of silver ions by binding the chloride ions why you added sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is added to potassium dichromate to acidify it because in the acidic medium potassium dichromate acts as a strong oxidizing agent why you added sulfuric acid while preparing the ferrous ammonium sulfate solution to acidify no it was added to prepare the fas solution to prevent the hydrolysis of ferrous ammonium sulfate salt not to acidify it what is a waste water a waste water is one which is contaminated by human use or by the impurities from the industries or the agricultural impurities or the runaway water from the roads all these forms the waste water what could be the impurities present in the waste water the impurities present in the waste water could be organic as well as inorganic in nature what is bod bod stands for biological oxygen demand or biochemical oxygen demand can you define bod bod is defined as the amount of oxygen required in milligrams to completely oxidize the organic matter present in 1 liter of given waste water sample over a period of 5 days maintained at 25 degree centigrade under aerobic conditions what is the difference between cod and bod the cod values are higher compared to the bod values in cod there is no need to maintain the aerobic conditions whereas in bod the aerobic conditions is must cod takes place in just a couple of hours whereas bod takes 5 long days to complete why the values of cod is higher compared to the bod values the cod values are higher because it is a mixture of both organic as well as inorganic matter present in the waste water whereas bod is only the mixture of organic waste matter present in the water what is do do stands for dissolved oxygen what is an effluent effluent means the industrial waste water what is the composition of ferroin the composition of ferroin is ferrous 1 10 phenanthrolene sulfate can we recycle the waste water yes the waste water can be recycled but before subjecting it to recyclization we must go for its treatment what are the various states stages of treatment of waste water there are three stages of waste water treatment the primary treatment secondary treatment and tertiary treatment what is removed in the primary treatment of waste water the suspended impurities and large organic and inorganic molecules are removed in the primary treatment what is removed in the secondary treatment the organic matter is removed in the secondary treatment of sewage water what is removed in the tertiary treatment in the tertiary treatment the heavy metals and the colloidal impurities are removed what is drinking water called drinking water is called potable water 
I think I have taken almost all the possible Viva questions in this video. If you have any more doubts or any more questions, leave them in the comment box. I'll try to answer them. Like the video and subscribe my channel for more such knowledgeable videos. Till then, take care. Bye.